okay um this is a very interesting i am um, part of quickbooks yeah um some times ago we actually did a tutorial on quickbooks bank and credit card reconciliation and all that so but here we're going to talk about that basically uh, which is a uh, quickbooks credit card transactions and all that so how do you enter your credit card into quickbooks how do you record your sales in quick credit sales in credit card how do you record your payments how do you record your charges and the phone so these are things that i'm going to demonstrate in the short videos and all that now the first thing you need to do when it comes to quickbooks credit card transactions you need to know how to set up your credit card in quickbooks it's very very important because there's not how you can start entering transaction if you don't have your credit card set up in quickbooks and all that so because of the region i'm actually coming from and where i'm doing the tutorial and all that the extension for quickbooks credit card it's not really that um so the 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 quickbooks credit card here can't be automatically integrated into the quickbooks online and all that so the, the method i'm actually going to show you which i even think will be very very nice for everybody and all that so that you don't get to have your credit card transaction different from your business or probably at the end of the day you want to track the actual position of your business and you don't know that there's a charge on your credit card which actually pertains to your business so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to explain how to set up your credit card and all that so let's go in setting up your credit card in quickbooks you will go to chart of account first chart of account so the the, the way you treat your credit card it's not that different from the way you have your bank account because they both hold your cash and all that just that one is affixed directly to your bank which is the bank account while the other one seems to be like an extension of your bank account somehow but at the end of the day we still have the same characteristics with your bank account so to set up your credit card you're going to come here you're going to select your bank that's the character so here we'll now enter the name we'll call it we'll come here we'll enter the name We'll call it um i'm gonna use our bank here i'm gonna use zenith bank credit card now at the point of doing set up for my credit card how much do i have so i'm going to enter the amount here and i'm going to click save and close here so i've clicked save and close so this is the zenith bank credit card so you could see i have zenith bank cash i have any bank as a as account and I have any bank credit card. So this is how to set up my credit card in QuickBooks. Now when there's a transaction on my credit card, like assuming I made a sale directly and that sale went into my credit card, maybe like an online sales and all that. So how do I track that in QuickBooks? So we'll come to sales, you come here, you have to select sales receipts because here cash has been collected. So on the credit card transaction done online, you don't have to user you don't have to enter it as an invoice because it's not a credit transaction because the person paid cash first before the system processed the uh, payment and the goods was delivered to the customer or probably whatever the person is paying for was delivered so here we'll come here we'll select the name of the customer that made that payment diego so here we'll see the address of the customer other relevant details now deposit to where is the customer paying to the money into it's paying the money into our Zenith Bank credit card. You can see here Zenith Bank credit card. Payment method here will come here. We'll choose the MasterCard if that's the card the person is using. So here we'll select the products the person is paying for. Now, assuming the person paid for um, probably like a design service, so we'll come here. We'll select our design. We'll enter the amount here. Then, if you want to apply tax, that if tax was applied, then you come here to select the percentage. Yeah, we have if there's any discount issues and all that so with this we want to enter our sales in credit card so when you come here you click save so we have saved the transaction and all that so if we go back to our chart of account right here and we look at the zenith bank credit card you could see that we have this amount here so you could come here and click view register view register will show you the details of the transactions in your credit card so here we can see we have the opening balance already so this is the sales we just made into that card right here so we have that already on ground so the next one is how do we make payments with our card probably 
who have been charged and all that and you want to make a payment with the card same thing as the way you make your payment you come down to your transaction here you click your expenses probably you've been charged or okay, credit card charges so you come here you select the check that's what you select so you come here you select the check you select the check you select who are you paying to so you select the name of a vendor so as we were paying to change another or whatever bank that we have been charged on the credit card so here you go and select the vendor you're paying right here so we have a list of all the vendors so now we're going to settle with this change gas and oil so the account from which the money is coming from is we pay with as any bank credit card you can see this balance will change here so number is any number attached to it what are we paying for we're paying for maintenance and all that so you come here if you drop a message related to your customer you're paying tax on it you enter but if you're paying for your product and all that you come here you select the product if you're paying for a service you come here you select a service now assuming we're paying a vendor maybe we've been charged probably like bank charges and all that i want to track it so you come here you enter the name of the bank here Zenith Bank as a bank, it's different from Zenith Bank as a supplier. So it's very important. So you come here, you click save. Here, yeah. when you click save, what's the name of the charge? You select from this drop down here, you trace bank charges. There's no bank charges here. You come here, you add new. So we call it expenses. Okay, we have a credit card here. So so we have a credit card here that we're paying for. So we call it credit card charges. So this balance is showing the if we have any outstanding balance before on credit card charges that we're yet to pay. That's how we have it here. So here you have your credit card charges 185 and all that. So if you're done, you click this. Now, if this is a recurring transactions, maybe it's an amount that we have been charged on a monthly basis and we don't have the time to be entering that every time you can make this transaction reoccurring when we'll it comes to that you click make reoccurring you have Zenith Bank here now you schedule the period here create how many days in advance two days in advance you're paying to Zenith Bank our account that will be charged is this so interval is on a monthly basis so we're going to be charged on a monthly that weekly or monthly basis we we'll enter it when on the monthly basis is it on the first second so which is the first day of every one month and all that so start date when i was starting we want to start next month so you come here you click 16th of september and all that end dates when do we want to end it by or not that so you select that so what that means is that this transaction is going to be recurring it's going to be recurring so on that specified date on the invoice will be charged automatically you can see we're calling check so and our credit card will be built and all that so that is how to receive your that's how to make payments with your credit card in quick books the next one again is assuming there is actually um we have let me say uh, a refund probably from a customer and all that you can come here and go to refund and Pay through the credit cards and all that. So with this now, you're able to do so many things with your credit card. You want to enter your sales transaction. You're able to enter all the payments, probably all the charges and all that. Now, I actually explain how to do reconciliation to in QuickBooks. How to reconcile your credit card balances with your bank balance. So if I go back to my chart of account here and I trace my credit card, which is this, you can go to view register. At the top here you'll see reconcile so this reconcile will help you to reconcile your credit card with the actual balance you have on the in your, in your bank that's quickbooks here so you come here you click reconcile so this is where you now start your reconciliation already we've already explained how to do reconciliation when you look at one of our tutorial where we explain quickbooks bank and credit card reconciliation i actually explain how to do your reconciliation on this window and all that if you have any question you can drop a message or you can subscribe and send me uh, just drop a, just drop a comment whatever question you have we're going to answer your comment with a video and whenever we post new videos you can always get a message from us that we have a new video posted and all that thank you